Our next guests are the best charting Korean girl group of all time. K-pop sensations. Lightning. Netflix's original documentary, Blackpink Light Up the Sky, is an unprecedented inside look at the group's rise to fame, showing moments from their childhood to never seen before footage of their years of intense YG training and the behind the scenes of their breakout performance at Coachella. Producer Teddy Park gives his insight on working with the girls, and Blinks will be very excited to know that the film is shot from the perspective of Jenny, Jisoo, Rosie, and Lisa, each giving personal interviews throughout the film. Director Caroline Suh's documentary is fun and playful, yet captures the raw and honest feel of who the ladies of Blackpink really are. I had a chance to speak to Caroline about her film. Let's take a first look. It's Caroline with Hollywood First Look Features, and today I'm joined by documentary filmmaker Caroline Suh for her film, Blackpink Light Up the Sky. Caroline, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. I just kind of want to set this up. Blackpink, they are the first K-pop group that Netflix has decided to do an original documentary with. Mm -hmm. The only other female artists have been Lady Gaga, Beyonce, Taylor Swift. And between those three ladies, they have decades worth of, you know, musical influence. Blackpink has only been around since 2016. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about taking on this project, knowing what this is going to mean to the fans. Yes, yes, they have fans who know everything about them. So we wanted to really show, um, be able to show people uh, a side of Blackpink that they had never seen before. And, um, and I was just really curious as to what it's like to go from being kind of, you know, teenager trainees to becoming this uh, phenomenon around the world. So that's really what the story of the film is. It's trying to tell for fans what it was like for them and what it feels like right now to be part of this huge, to be part of this huge sensation. Now, how familiar were you with Blackpink prior to taking on this project? You know, I knew very little about them. I had heard of them before, like I had heard of BTS, and um, but I didn't know much about them at all. In all honesty, I kind of feel that that would almost be a perfect clean slate for someone mm -hmm. to be able to look at who they are and their rise with completely fresh eyes. Mm -hmm. Is that the kind of outlook that you had? Yeah, I kind of like doing a lot of projects that way as an outsider and kind of seeing, you know, also telling the story for people who don't know a lot about Blackpink. I mean, that was a goal also to make the film, not just for the Blinks, but for all of the people um, who don't know much about them, but who are kind of curious. So. Now, you are a documentarian, and I want to know, for you as a filmmaker, what were the uh, sort of functions that you've done, you know, in previous documentaries? And then what were things that were just completely out of left field that you weren't necessarily anticipating with a project like this? Mm -hmm. um, you know, I love biographies. I loved telling narratives where people kind of start at point A and end up at point B. And so that's really what we were trying to do with um, the story of Blackpink, because as you said, they haven't been around for that long. And they themselves say they just feel like they're at the beginning, not in the middle or the end. So, so that was very familiar. I think, um, you know, digging through, they have so much archival material of them taken over years. So kind of going, have, you know, going through that and trying to tell their story using that, I think was really a challenge, but. Uh, Talk to me about how many hours of archival footage that you would have to, you know, go through in order to get what we actually see in the doc. I mean, I can't, I mean, I didn't even go through it personally. A, a wonderful woman named Michael Sharkey went through it with our producer, Caramonas, because there were thousands of hours, thousands. Um, so kind of trying to figure out how to tell their story using that was really a challenge. When did you actually start filming, you know, the personal uh, interviews with the girls? So we filmed with them in the fall of last year, 2019, for a block of time. And we filmed them in the studio and filmed their interviews and filmed them kind of what, doing what they do when they're um, in their downtime. And then we went back in, to February of this year, in February of this year, and filmed with them for a chunk of time again. What was something that kind of surprised you with the girls, mm -hmm. knowing you know how famous they are and then being able to sit down and having these intimate conversations, is there anything that just kind of went, you know, I'm really surprised upon hearing that? Mm -hmm. 
Well, I think on the outside they seem very bubbly and sweet and happy, but there's real, there's a lot more complexity there. I mean, they're, all of them I found in their interviews, learning about them, share this like incredibly strong will, which got them through training school and got them to where they are today. And I was, um, I mean, I didn't have expectations that that wouldn't be the case, but it was very clear and interesting that, you know, they all kind of stuck with it. I never even imagined myself living apart from my family. I'm gonna cry. Everything was counting that's that time. Can you talk about the training process? Because you really do show that inside look as to what these people go through, what they are dedicating their lives to, you know, coming into that school, leaving home and dedicating so, you know, such a huge chunk of their childhood, their, their teen years, all the way into their 20s. Can you talk to me a little bit about that and what you found? Um, I think the most interesting thing I found was that you don't know if you're ever going to debut <laughs> and when that will be. So that seems to be the hardest part of it all. So the training is hard, being away from your family is hard, but not knowing if this is where this is gonna go or if you're ever gonna get to, you know, do for the public what you've been practicing for, I think that, it, that surprised me. I have to ask, what can you tell the Blinks that are currently watching, what they can anticipate <laughs> in watching your film? Uh, I mean, I hope they get to see kind of a more three-dimensional view of um, Blackpink and kind of see their struggles and how hard they worked and really see them as humans. Um, not just idols, but kind of come to empathize with them in that way. Well, I will tell you, I definitely took that away after oh, watching your film. So congratulations. Black Pink, Light Up the Sky is now streaming on Netflix. Please go watch it. Caroline, thank you so much. Thank you so much.